Yeah. Now we're moving from the surreal art into my more serious face of political art. And um, I just had a deep feeling that I, I, I had to make some kind of difference in the world. And so it was coming through as political images. I wanted to show the problems in the world and possibly some solutions. So I want to take you through my political phase now. These are my political art pieces, and I started painting these probably in the early 80s um, when I first came to California. Uh, a lot of the economy here was based on the defense industry, and it was real shocking to me that so many people earning a living were creating weapons. here is called Enter the Dragon and it's kind of a strange self-portrait of being vulnerable and entering uh, some of the darkness and the problems of society and see if there's any solutions through images. This one is called Why We Need More Weapons and on TV usually the politician would be standing in front of a lot of microphones and giving a speech on why we need great defense and weapons and it would just wrench my heart and I just contemplated it for weeks and weeks. Um, of course we need to protect ourselves but the real essence of why we need a weapon is to kill another human being and that's why this being is being bound and lowered into a vat. It's, it's a paradigm that somehow we have to transform and change. This art piece is called Missiles and Coffee Cups. And the way it came about was I was sitting at a coffee counter and usually I would meet people at lunch and of course I wanted to talk about the problem of missiles and a lot of people didn't want to talk about it. And um, that's how the imagery came Her hands are together, it's like you really shouldn't speak about it because we're earning our living from creating these weapons. And um, so I kind of crossed out her lips. It's like she wants to tell, like in the ancient, when you're, you really want it, your voice to echo and speak, but yet you feel society won't let you speak. You're caught up in the culture of it. When I was at the coffee counter and I have the coffee to my face, I go, oh my God, this is like what a gas mask would look like if we had to protect ourselves. And, and also it was like, how am I going to get these feelings across? And so it, it felt like my mind was floating in space to, to uh, be able to express myself. And so this other figure came in upside down and it was like, how will we protect ourselves and will we even survive a nuclear holocaust? It became a transformation piece in the essence that there was a missile in the middle of the painting, but I, it, it just became too real that, that we could actually be annihilated by some crazy man pressing a button. And so then I uh, painted that under and I put the missiles in the outer white border to symbolize uh, the spiritual border and protection from the gods. And I X'd out each missile in the border. In ancient times, I was told that the X was uh, the name for Christ or it symbolized uh, was, uh, knowledge and intuition because knowledge without intuition is what created the the missiles to begin with. You, you need intuition, revelation. You need wisdom to go beyond weapons. And this piece uh, became a beginning shamanistic piece for me to, to transport me beyond the political and to take a, a painting into prayer. Currently, uh, 
showing my work in my home gallery and uh, I take appointments for people to come see my art. I invite you with open arms to visit my website, IreneVincent.com. Oh yeah.